Stand by, folks. We're starting tic tac toe. Live from Television City in Chicago, Illinois. It's the game of strategy. Knowledge and fun is tic tac toe. And I am Rodney1279. Alright guys, welcome to Tic Tac Doe. Glad to have you with us. We're going to have an awesome time. I can feel it. We have a very small audience today, but it's going to be a good episode nonetheless. Our returning champion managed to win a big Aston Martin car. He won a lot of cash and he won the bonus round. He has a total of $244,264. It is Boris Alexander. How you doing, Boris? Great. Be right back, guys. All right. Well, let's do a little chatting. So how did you feel after that win? Hello? Uh, yesterday, I, I still can't believe that uh, I won over 200 grand. Yeah. <laughs> on the first, on the first day. Yeah. Well, you, you can win quickly on this show. And uh, AJ knows about that, don't you, AJ? Yes, I do. Yep. It's, as long as you pick your numbers right. That's it. So we're kind of weighing just in here. I'm back. All right. And his challenger is Justin Noise. How you doing, Justin? Very good. It's been a while since you played. You're ready to go on Tic Tac Go? I'm ready. Alright, well here are the nine categories we'll be dealing with on today's episode. And they are... We have European History, Opponent's Choice, Famous Women, Shades of Red, Mixed Game Shows, The $10,000 Question, The Gospels, the Jump In Category, and Weather. Okay, I'm going to uh, unmute y'all uh, buzzers here. All righty. And uh, Boris, you're the champ. Go ahead and start picking your category. Let's try with uh, mixed game shows, please. He's going to mix game shows. It's a two-part question worth $3,000, and I will give you the extra time on it, okay? Okay. And I will just tell you, you right now, these are both Chuck Woolery game shows, okay? And once I put them up there, I'll give you the extra time to think about it, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm totally ready to be prepared. That's one. And the other... That's the other. And here's your extra time to think about it, Boris. All right, Boris, unscramble the two game shows that are hosted by Chuck Woolery. The second one was uh, Lingo. That's right. And the first one was... Uh uh, it's, my third, it's my favorite. Uh, great. That is right. Good job. Good start, Boris. $3,000 is in the pot and let's shuffle it. Off and running. And Justin, where are we going? I want to get big skin so shot. That's the second time in the category. Take a look at this one. Uh, Rodney? Yes, sir. You didn't put an X and make game shows. I did. I did. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, my uh, screen froze then. Yeah, yeah, I did. Thank you, though, for reminding me, though. Uh, yeah, my screen froze. Everybody's screen's froze? Uh, you see that mixed game show, uh, Justin? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll read the question to you. This mixed game show was hosted by Jimmy Cephalo. The object of this game show was for contestants to answer questions 
so they can fill up their bingo light cards. Name it. Chuck card. That is right. Good job. We have five thousand dollars in the pot, and we shuffle it. All right, um, Boris. Question. He's going with the ten thousand dollar question. That's a bold move. Now you get this ten thousand dollar question correctly, Boris. It will be fifteen thousand dollars in the jackpot. Good luck to you. The Amazon River Dolphins are what color? The Amazon River Dolphins are what color? They are. They are gray. Gray is incorrect. I'm sorry. Are they blue? Blue is incorrect. Green? Green is incorrect. What is it? It's pink. They're pink. Oh, man. They're, they're pink. Oh. They're pink. Okay. $5,000 in the pot and we shuffle. All right, Justin. I'm going to do mixed game shows again. Third time in the category. Take a look at this one. <laughs> I see. It's a long one. Bear with me, folks. Alright, you see that mixed game show, Justin? Oh, yeah. Alright, here's your question. This game show was the only game show that was taped in Hawaii. This game show was hosted by Bob Eubanks. Name this game show. Alright, uh, the Diamond Head Game. That is right, good job. We have $7,000 in the pot and we shuffle. All right, uh, Boris. Oh, man. Uh, I guess I'm playing. Question. Say it again. Ten grains for the block. He's going for the $10,000 question for the block, and this will be worth $10,000. It will be $17,000 in the pot if you're right, okay? Which company manufactured the B-29 Super Fortress aircraft? Again, what company manufactured the B-29 Super Fortress air aircraft? Uh, Which company manufactured the B-29 Super Fortress aircraft? Ah, uh, uh, my guess is uh, Boeing. It's B-O-E-I-N-G. You are correct. That's exactly right. Good job, Boris, and thanks for the spelling. You have $17,000 in the pot, and we shuffle. I didn't know that. Yep. All right, Justin. She's ready for the block. That mixed game shows is covered. All right, here's your question. On shades of red, uh, Justin. Which of the following prime ministers of the United Kingdom had red hair? Is it A. Navelle Chamberlain, B. Clement Attlee, C. Harold Wilson, or D. Winston Churchill? I'm gonna say A. Navelle Chamberlain. Yes. That's incorrect. I would say the first one. Harold Wilson. Yeah. That's incorrect. It's it's Winston Winston Churchill. Churchill. It was Winston Churchill, yes. Winston what? Yeah, Winston Churchill. Okay, seventeen thousand dollars is in the pot, let's shuffle it. Yep. All right, Boris. All right, you get this question right on mixed game shows, 
it'll be $19,000 and your wins will be at $263,264 it will be your second win. Take a look at this mixed game show, Boris. Not necessarily, Justin. He has to get it right, remember. You see that mixed game show, Boris? Mm. Yeah. All right, here's your question. This game show is currently hosted by Chris Hardwick, and LeBron James is the executive producer. Contestants can win up to over $12 million on this gigantic, gigantic, I should say, four-story Planko board. For Tic Tac Doe, and another nineteen thousand dollars. Name this show. Mm, a couple months ago, uh, they viewed the French version of that show, and uh, the original uh, show uh, is named The Wall. That is Tic Tac Doe. <laughs> Nicely done. That is your second win, and that's a good place for you to be, Boris. You have another nineteen thousand dollars that gives you a total of. $263,264, and you're going to go ahead against that dragon shortly. Well, Justin, we'll definitely have you for another game, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, boys, let's do the Beat the Dragon game, sir. Okay. Here we go. All right, Boris, the object of the Beat the Dragon game is for you to um, um, get to $10,000 or more or get the ticket attack before seeing the dragon. If you manage to get $10,000 or more or get the ticket attack before seeing that dragon, here are the prizes you're in for. It's a trip to Montego Bay, two off-road motorbikes, a living room group and a portable keyboard, a trip to Boston. A barrel sauna and a trip to Portugal. Those prizes are totaled $30,682, Boris. Now, because this is our special women's episode, if you manage to get the ticket and attack on any of your picks, we give you a $38,000 bonus. But if you do it on your first two picks, we give you a $76,000 bonus and you have another shot at a car, okay? If you're ready, Boris, you can start picking. Number four. Let's see what's in number four. There's $2,500. Okay, stop or go. Play. Next number. Mm, number two, please. Let's see what's in number two. There's another $1,000. You have $3,500. Stop or go. He's playing. What's your next number? One. Let's see what's in number no let's see what's in number one. There's the tag. Now if you find the tag, we give you a thirty-eight thousand dollar bonus and you'll have another shot at a brand new car. Stop or go. Man. Uh play. He's playing. Good luck. Number nine. Number nine. It's tag by number nine. It's another $3,000. You have $6,500. Now you need $3,500 or the tag. Stop or go. Twice. He's going on. Next number. Six. This could be your last pick. We'll see. It's $3,500 or tag by number six. No! Sorry about that, Boris. That was bad luck. Well, let's see where the tax and the um, rest of the money and amounts were. Tack was in number eight. Number eight. So that means that the next Beat the Dragon game will be at $40,000 or $80,000 if it happens on the first two picks. We're going to take a quick commercial break and pay some bills. And when we come back, we'll do more Tic Tac Doe. Stick with us, won't you?
Yeah. All right, guys, we're back with Tic Tac Doe. We had um um a failure in the Beat the Dragon game, but we're gonna try to uh, see what happens with this opponent, which is Ben Mason. How you doing, Ben? Hey, Rodney. Been a while hey, since you. As always. Yes, it's been a while since you played. So um. A long while. Since. I've just been so. Tied up. Not literally tied up, but uh, you know how busy I am. Yeah. Well, are you ready to play tic tac Doe? Yes, I am. Let's do it. All right. Here are the nine categories that we're dealing with, and they are the following. We have famous women in honor of Women's Day. We have the jumping category. I already unlocked your buzzer, Ben. We have a uh, millionaire, European history, kids trivia, double or nothing, Inventors and Inventions, Opponent's Choice, and Old Testament. All right, uh, Boris, you're playing your um, third game. Which category you want to start with? Uh, let's start with uh, Inventors and Inventions. He's going with Inventors and Inventions. Okay, here's a question on Inventors and Inventions. What handicap did inventor Ralph Teacher suffer from? Is it A, death, B, muscular dystrophy, C, blind, or D, paralyzed? Yeah, what handicap did inventor Ralph Teeter suffer from? Is it A, death, B, muscular dystrophy, C, blind, or D, paralyzed? The second option. Muscular dystrophy? Hope so. No, that's incorrect. I'm sorry. The answer was uh, he was blind. He was blind. You want to know what he invented, y'all? The Braille? No, not Braille. Not Braille. That was uh, actually Lewis Braille invented Braille. But Ralph Teeter invented cruise control. He invented cruise control, okay? Oh. Yep. All right, we shuffle. We learn something new every day, don't we? All right, Ben. Hmm. I can't imagine anybody inventing cruise control and being a... Uh that disabled. That's just amazing. Yeah. Ronnie. Yes, sir? Give me the double or nothing. I knew it. Okay, here's your double or nothing. Here's your double or nothing question. First, you have to get this question correctly, and then I'll ask you for your decision, okay? In the TV series Seinfeld, who does Michael Richards play? He plays Kramer, of course. That is right. Now... Are we keeping that box or are we risking it for another box, Ben? Knowing that if you mess up in the other box, you'll lose them both. Ronnie, give me the kids' trivia, upper right. Go and get two of those uh, crosses up there or X's or whatever you call them. Well, you got a circle, Ben. Oh, right. You're not the champion oh, yet. Okay. Right, Boris is the champion. I'm the champion. I know how this game plays. Right. <laughs> right. But if you get this question right on kids' Trivia, you'll have both boxes and $4,000 will be added in the pot. Miss the question, you'll lose them both. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. I just want to see if we're paying attention. Oh, I pay attention. I'm the host. All right, here's, here's a question. What kind of animal is an asp? A-S-P, asp. Is it A, a fish, B, a dog, C, a bird, or D, a snake? I believe an asp is a snake. You have both boxes, that's right. Good job, Ben. We have $4,000 in the pot, putting the pressure on Boris. We shuffle it. Oh, wow. Cleopatra getting hit by an ass. So, yep. Unbelievable. Yep. All right, Boris. Famous women for the block. Okay, famous women. It's going to be a two-part question, and we will give you the extra time for both questions, okay? All right, first... I was the only wife of Henry VIII to bear a son that survived past infancy. Who am I? Is it A. Jane Seymour, B. Anne of Cleves, C. Catherine of Aragon, or D. Anne Boleyn? And the second one, in 1963, I became the first woman to travel in space. Who am I? Is it A. Shannon Lucid, B. Judith Resnick, 
C, Valentina Teresh, Tereshkova, or D, Sally Ride? Here's the time to think about it. All right, uh, which part you want to answer first? Second. The second one? Okay, here's your question. In 1963, I became the first woman to travel in space. Who am I? Is it A, Shannon Lucid, B, Judith Resnick, C, Valentina Tereshkova, or D, Sally Ride? That's most, of course, uh, Valentina Tereshkova. That is correct. And for the center box, I was only the wife, excuse me, I was the only wife of Henry VIII to bear a son that survived past infancy. Who am I? Is it A, Jane Seymour, B, Anne of Cleves, C, Catherine of Aragon, or D, Anne Boleyn? Anne of Cleves is wrong. I'm sorry. The answer... Jane Seymour? It was Jane Seymour. Right. Very good, AJ. Okay, we have $4,000 in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Ben. <laughs> oh, interesting choice. Very interesting, I should say. Ronnie. Yes. Let's have the double or nothing in the upper uh, left. Okay, double or nothing. Okay, here's a question on the double or nothing. What does legend say started the Great Chicago Fire of 1871? No guess. I know it. What is the answer? Uh, no, I said no guess. Right. Well, I'm asking AJ. What's the answer? A cow kicking over a lantern. A cow is good enough. That is right. Yep, a cow. Okay, we have $4,000 in the pot and we shuffle. That's utterly insane. No pun intended. Yep. All right, um, um, Boris. Let's try double or nothing. Gonna try double or nothing, huh? All right, here's your question on double or nothing. Nobody wants to go for the Bible, Old Testament. Here's the question. Which U.S. state is located between you? Excuse me, let me try again. Which U.S. state is located between California and Utah? Uh, which which state? Which U.S. state is located between California and Utah? Uh, well, uh, Nevada. Nevada's right. Okay. Now, are we going to keep that box or risk it for another box? Knowing if you uh, risk it for another box, you'll lose them both. What do you want to do? Risk. Okay. With which category? Like to risk with uh, Old Testament. There you go. That that a boy. Get this question right on the Old Testament, and uh, you'll get both boxes. But if you miss it, uh, you'll lose them both. And it's a two-part question. Who said God will provide Himself the lamb for a burnt offering? Is it A. Abraham, B. Isaac, C. Jacob, or D. Joseph? And the second one, who was Rebecca's father? Is it A, Bethuel, B, Nahor, C, Terah, or D, Lot? Here's the time to think about it. All right, uh, Boris, which part you want to answer first? Second one. Okay, the second one. Who was Rebecca's? Let me try again. Who was Rebecca's father? Is it A. Bethuel, 
B. Nahor, C. Terra, or D. Lot? I, I, I don't know how to say, but uh, I, will, I will spell it. Oh, hi, Roddy. Hi. Ben, it's not I your turn. E S A U. Where was your, what's your answer? The father was, uh, uh, I'm spelling E S A U. E S O. Well, the choices were A. Bethuel, B. Nahar. C Terra or D Lot, and you'll have five seconds now. So uh, the first option. Bethuel's right, and the, for the center box, who said God will provide Himself the Lamb for a burnt offering? Is it A Abraham, B Isaac, C Jacob, or D Joseph? Abraham. That is right. You got both boxes. Good job. All right, we have $9,000 in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Ben. Famous woman, famous woman, famous woman, famous woman. For the block, for the block, for the block, for the block, for the block. <laughs> here's your question. Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. All right, here's the question. I was the longest run, excuse me, I take that back again. Let me do that again. I was the longest ruling female leader of Russia, reigning from July 9th, 1762, until my death at the age of 67. Who am I? Is it A, Hasput, B, Marie Antoinette, C, Catherine the Great, or D, Indira Gandhi? Give me the choices again. A, Hasput. B. Marie Antoinette, C. Catherine the Great, or D. Indira Gandhi? The first one. Hasput? Yes. Incorrect. It's Catherine the Great. Catherine the Great. Okay, we have $9,000 in the pot and we shuffle. All right, the board is getting interesting today, Boris. Double nothing. Just go, okay, he's going to try double nothing. I see where he's going, okay? Here's a question on the double nothing, Boris. Which island is best? Let me try again. Which island is the boot of Italy kicking? Let me try again. I'm sorry. Which island is the boot of Italy kicking? Which island is the boot of Italy kicking? He said, no guess. Okay. I will tell you the answer. Do you, anybody in the audience know? Sicily. It's Sicily. Yes, Ben. All right. $9,000 is in the pot and we shuffle. All right, Ben. Rodney. Yes? Double or nothing, if you would. Going with double or nothing. Okay. Here's your question on the double or nothing. How many eyelids does a cat have on each eye? Four. Four is incorrect. I'm sorry. Is it three? It's three. Good job, AJ. It was three. Okay, $9,000 is in the pot still. We shuffle. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, Boris. Choice for the win. Going to do opponent's choice for the win. Now, if you get this question right on opponent's choice, Boris, it'll be tic-tac-doe, $11,000, and your winnings will be at $274,264. But, Ben, you get to choose the category for him. All right. Give them to me. Do you want him to answer question? Hang on one minute. Time out. We'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry about that. I had to do something. You said opponent's choice. Now, here's the two uh, 
categories you can pick for Boris. And they are? State capitals or numbers. Some numbers, if you will. Okay. Boris, it's for Tic Tac Doe and $11,000 bringing your winnings to $274,264, okay? Within 10 years, what year did the Volkswagen debut the Golf? Within 10 years, what year did the Volkswagen debut the, the Golf? G O L F. What year did the Volkswagen debut the Golf? Uh, uh, you mean uh, uh, the Golf uh, is the, the Sports in the Olympics? Yeah. No, uh, the car. You only got a few seconds. Ah. Uh, uh, Time. Time. Remember, you only got 30 seconds to answer, okay? So, Ben, you got them. Good. The answer is 1974. The golf is what I meant, the car, okay? Alright. Alright, um, $9,000 is still in the pot and we shuffle. Alright, Ben. Ronnie, I don't know what to do anymore. Well, you yeah. Go Old Testament and block the sports guy. Come on. There we go, okay. He's oh. a. Here's a question on the Old Testament. Who was 120 years old when he died? His eyes was not dim, nor his natural force abated. Is it A, Moses, B, Jacob, C, Abraham, or D, Joshua? Would it be Jacob? No, it was Moses. Moses. Moses, that's the answer, Moses. Okay, we still have $9,000 in the pot and we shuffle. Oh, no. <laughs> Boris. <laughs> Where is I'm still here. Uh, he said Old Testament. Okay, thank you, man. Old Testament. This will be four to win. Eleven thousand dollars, bringing your winnings to two hundred seventy-four thousand two hundred sixty-four dollars. Okay. Who made his son a priest over his idols? Is it A. Itar, B. Zora, C. J. Has, or D. Micah? Repeat the choices. A. Itar. B. Zora, C. J. Has, or D. Micah? You only got 30 seconds. C. The, the third one. J. Has? Okay, I'm sorry, that's wrong. The answer is D. Micah. Micah. Okay, we shuffle. We're using those Old Testaments today. All right, back to you, Ben. Give me the famous women. I want to block for us badly. I, I, that's all I have to say about it. Okay, here's your question on famous women. I think you'll get this one, Ben. I, was I the hope so. Yeah. I was the first woman to fly solo ac across the Atlantic Ocean. Who am I? Is it A, Sally Rock? Go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. Do you know the answer? Amelia Earhart. Amelia Earhart is right. Good job. All right, there we go. He, yeah. got, he got the block. Yep. Eleven thousand dollars is in the pot. We shuffle. And many folks are going over the leg nowadays. Yep. All right, Boris. Old Testament for the boy. Yeah. Old Testament. Okay. Here's your question on the Old Testament. How did Moab inflict damage on Israel? Is it A, by the sword, B, by poison, C, by seducing them, or D, by cursing them? 
How did Moab inflict damage on Israel? Is it A, by the sword, B, by poison, C, by seducing them, or D, by cursing them? Mm, I think the first option. By the sword? Yeah. That's incorrect. Mm. It was by seducing them. By seducing them. And you can find that in the book of Numbers, the 25th chapter. Okay, we have uh, $11,000 in the pot and we shuffle. Hey, no witness. I don't know. Well, Ben? Yes, Ronnie, give me the famous women. I want to win this game. I hope so. Okay, here's a question on famous women. If, oh, yeah, Ben, if you get this question right on famous women, it'll be tic tac doe $13,000, and you'll be the new champion. Ah, oh, that'd be nice to be half. Yep. Here's your question. Known as the Iron Lady, I was the first woman Prime Minister of Britain. For Tic Tac doing $13,000, who am I? Is it A, Julia Gil Gilbert, B, Margaret Thatcher, C, Janet Jagan, or D, Kim Campbell? Would that be Margaret Thatcher? And it would be Tic Tac though. Good job. Yeah. Good day, Mark. And uh, go fight back. Uh, Kim Campbell would be the first uh, Prime Minister of... Uh, no, 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 no. Well, that's good to know. Okay. I think. I'm not sure. I, I think she was. All right. Well, I'll look that up later. Okay, Ben. So we're going to do the Beat the Dragon game. I forgot to start the clock, but I know time is running out. But we're going to do the Beat the Dragon game anyway, okay? All right. Um, all right. Uh, Boris, you have won a total of $263,264. So we'll, we'll put you up on the leaderboard. And our congratulations, okay? Thanks. All right. All right, Ben, we're going to get right into the Beat the Dragon game. So, if you're ready, let's do the Beat the Dragon game. Sounds like a good idea. Here we go. All right, Ben. You know the object of the game, and here are the prizes you're in for, and they're the following. I forgot to uh, change the um, numbers here, but I'll fix them later if you do win. Here we go. We have a trip to Costa Rica, a living room group and two Tiffany lamps, a bedroom group and a sleep set, an entertainment wall unit and a 50-inch projection TV, a folding travel, and a trip to Ecuador. And those prizes are total $36,348. Alright, and it's not $43,000. The bonus is $40,000 if you get the ticket and attack on any of your picks, okay? Because I forgot to change it. But if you manage to do it on your first two picks, we give you a $80,000 bonus and a shot at a new car, Ben, okay? If you ready to go, Ben? Go ahead and start picking. Okay. Well, uh, I did a little research just real quick, and I did find out that Kim Campbell was, in fact, the very first Canadian Prime Minister, and the only one, uh, as of right now. So, okay. uh, let's start off with number one. Okay, let's see what's the number one. There's the dragon. Right Where away. It's Kim Campbell. You know why the dragon came up? My curse. Why? Dragon on the, on the first pick. Because he hates Canada. No, because you took too long. It's playing your point. <laughs> well, whatever the case may be, all right. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Ben. Let's see where the ticket attack and the money amounts. Whoa, right straight down the line. The tack was in number two and the tick was in number three. So that means that the bonus round jackpot will be at $45,000 or $90,000 if it happens on the first two picks. We're putting them out of time, folks. Did y'all have a good time today? Yes, sir. Oh, I heard it. All right, guys. Well, we're going to do another episode of Tic Tac Doe on tomorrow the same time, guys. This is Rodney1279 signing off. Stay be safe, be careful, take care, everybody, and stay blessed. Goodbye, y'all. The Old Testament. We didn't use the Old Testament all season. It finally came up. <laughs> I was sorry. Uh, 5.30 Central Time. Huh? Uh, 5.30 Central Time. Yeah.
Uh, it will be 4.30 Central Time tomorrow. Alright. Yep. Yeah. I think Ben is the champ, so I think Ben will be here. I gotta sign off, Rodney. Hey, uh, AJ. Yeah. Is it okay if I could chat with you more later on Facebook? Uh, sure. I'll talk to you later after, um, after Wheel of Fortune, probably. No, it's nothing wrong with you. Just, I just want to talk about some things. Alright. Yep. See y'all guys later for Tic Tac Doe.